I know that at the end of the previous video, I said that we are going to start implementing SQL database in the Android environment. But I think it's a good thing to have a quick challenge to make sure that we are all at the same page about the SQL command themselves. Here is the challenge. I want you to create these three simple tables, the employees tables, income report table, and the employee details table. And uh, add all of these columns to them. After that, insert some values to them. Then try to retrieve some data from uh, each one of these tables. Maybe limit the records and also maybe order the records that you are retrieving, for example, uh, by the amount of loan they have. And as the final challenge, I want you to join these three tables together and retrieve all or maybe some of the columns from uh, each table that you want. We haven't seen multiple join command, but I think you can do it. Okay, pause the video in here and come back when you have done the challenge. Okay, let's start by creating our tables. First of all, let's maximize the size of this terminal. By typing SQLite 3, you would go to the SQLite environment. Create table employees. The first one was ID, which is an integer, which is a primary key, which is auto increment. The second one was name, which is a text. After that, we had email, which is text, and also a phone number, which once again is a text. The second table is income report. Create table income report. For the columns, the first one is employee ID, which is an integer. Then we had income, which is a double. After that, we had loan, which once again is a double. And uh, another one for total received, maybe the salary of the uh, employee itself. Total receipt, which once again is a double. The third table is employee details, which its column are employee ID, which is an integer. The next one was age, which once again is an integer. Then we had address, which is a text. We have marital status, which once again is a text. We had image URL, which once again is a text. You can see that I'm using the image URL of some person to save uh, into my database and not the image itself. You can save large objects like an image into a SQLite table uh, by specifying it its type to a BLOB or binary large object but in fact that's not a good idea because it can uh, make the work of the SQLite very much hard and it may take uh, a lot of time to retrieve data from your database instead you save your images into some data storage if you are using a cloud storage you save your image there and after that save that uh, images URL into your SQLite table like I'm doing it in here. One last column which was hobbies. Once again it's text. And if you want to make sure that we have our tables by typing dot tables, I can see that three tables have been created. Okay, let's insert some values to each one of these tables. For the first one, insert into employees. I'm not going to insert the ID part, so let's specify the columns. For example, I'm going to enter the name, email, and phone number. As the values, let's say maysam, email, maysam at mayco.org. And as the phone number, because we specified its type to text, we need to put it into a double quotation, some number. 
for the second table, I can say insert into uh, income report. This time I'm going to add uh, values to all the columns. So let's say employee ID 1 for the income, let's say some number. Uh, for the loan amount, let's say 10,000. And uh, for the total received, let's say 65,000. Sorry, I forgot to put the value keyboard before these uh, values. Okay, let's insert two more. Let's insert some values to the third table and insert into employee details, values. The first one is employee ID. The second one is age address. For the age, let's say 28 address, let's say Miami. Uh, marital status, let's say single. Image URL, I'm not going to put some real image URL in here instead. I'm just going to add a text to say to some image URL for the hobbies let's say metal music okay now that we have created our tables and inserted some values to each of those tables let's try retrieving uh, some values from each one of them but before that let's turn the headers on for the first table, let's say select a star from employees. We have three values. Okay, let's be more specific. Let's say uh, select name and email from the first table from employees. We have these two tables, these two columns. Let's try limiting the number of records that we want we can use the previous command just by adding limit to let's say two this time we have two records okay now let's join the first two table together and uh, retrieve the name of each employee plus the amount of income and maybe the loan let's say select uh, employees dot name and also uh, income report dot income and also income report dot loan from employees inner join we know that it doesn't matter if we use join or inner join those are basically the same inner join the second table's name income report on employees dot id you may be wondering why am I using this syntax for saving the IDs inside the, the tables. I will be talking about this in uh, I think two videos later but for now let's uh, talk with me. Employees.id is equal to income report dot employee ID. Let's also order our records by the amount of their income in a descending manner. Let's say order by income report dot income. We have the columns that we wanted and the records are ordered by the income column in a descending manner. That's fine. Up to this point, we haven't seen any new commands. Uh, but what if we want to join three tables together? For example, if we want to um, let's say retrieve the name from the first column maybe income and loan from the second column and also uh, some details about the employee itself from the third table in a single command well the way to do that is like this we basically use multiple join we can say select employees.name employees.email also, let's say income report dot income. Maybe the total amount that the employee has received. Income report dot total received. 
and from the third table from employee employee details dot age and also employee details dot address and also employee details dot hobbies all of these we are going to select them from the first table which is employees once again inner join the second table income report on the first tables column employees dot id is equal to income report dot employee id up until this point it's like the previous command we are joining two tables together but at this point we have a table we know that when we join two tables together SQL will create a new table and will retrieve that table for us. We can pursue this code like this. We can say inner join once again because uh, we are joining the existing table, the third table, on the table that SQL created for us. Inner join the second table, which is employee details, on the first tables. Uh, column which is income report dot employee id equals to employee details dot employee id let's see if we can retrieve any result it seems like i had a typo in here i put a double d in here but when i defined uh, the address column in here i have added a uh, one d let's fix that in here this is in here in the second line. I need to delete one of these D's. We can see that we are receiving all the columns that we need. Name, email, income, total receipt, age, address, and hobbies. We have successfully joined three tables together. This is by far the most complex SQL code that you have seen and uh, you probably wouldn't need it uh, very often, but it's uh, a good thing to be challenged. Okay, our simple challenge is done. In the next video, we are going to start implementing a SQL database and create SQL database into Android environment. See you in the next video.